You see when I fought Marlon yeah. Marais? Yeah, I saw. I wasn't at that one, but I saw that one. Yeah. That was great. That was probably one of the best comebacks I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. And MMA, I'm gonna give him props on that one. I thought I ain't gonna lie. After that first round, I go, oh shit. Yeah. He kicks you one more time. I say, my guy is gone. That was one yeah. of the best. He in came back, baby. Ain't no Real that Mexican warrior. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
singlet right you know on the show and, and she obviously had the you know, ear muffs on. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 the, head, yeah, the, the ear muffs right, there, right. <laughs> you know what's funny is he wasn't even supposed to be a wrestler like my character on Saved by the Bell he was just supposed to be like some street kid kind of like Vinnie Barbarino and Welcome Back Cotter uh -huh. but they he had him go to the jock though yeah well you know what they did is like they had us write down all the stuff that we were into in school so I wrote down oh you know I wrestled dance played the drums and then they incorporated all that into the character the accordion so, yeah you play the accordion no did I play yeah. it in the show I can't no, remember. It's a Mexican thing. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Mariachis and shit. No, 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 no. So I didn't. So they incorporated that into the show, and then um, uh, they just kind of made it part of the character. So people think I was copying the character, but the character was copying me. Hey, you ever met Ryan Garcia? Right? Yeah, of course, of course. I always call him Mickey Ricardo. He looked like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he look like a dog. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah hey, you know, I'll try to mix it up. <laughs> like the the way the show has flourished with like Save Other Bell, man, like how much do you how much do you owe to that show that's giving you opportunity? I imagine that was a show that really gave you that opportunity, right? To start now you're in Access Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. I mean even before that, because But now when people always see me say, um, you know, Save by the Bell. He 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 keeps their name living. Yeah, well, the show hadn't been off the air since 1989, which is a trip. Still. Fuck, I'm that old. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so what is that, 30-something years? And so, like I said, then we're doing, like, the new reboot right now. But even prior to that, I was on a show when I was, like, 10 years old. I started a show called Kids Incorporated. Yeah, I remember that show. You remember that? Come on, Mike. We were singing and dancing and doing all So that was oh, another. Oh, it, so it that, was like, was the... that was, like, a little, like, um, uh, like a Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah, right, right? right. But, like, about a band, about these, yeah. these kids in this band and stuff. Oh, so, so I did that even there. before, yeah. And then after that, I started doing other stuff. Then I got into Say by the Bell. You think you could teach Henry how to act? Henry, Henry, Henry's been acting. Henry's been acting right here. This other, there it is, right there. <laughs> He's the werewolf, right? Homie's in the character all the way <laughs> right here. <laughs> He's committed to it on IG and everything. I see it. <laughs> had his shirt off. I know. IG had the shirt off and everything. Yeah, and I, I, keep, I keep up with follow both y'all. So yeah, I keep yeah, back up. The, the thing with my character, the Mike, is like my character is like being cringe. It's like you can never go wrong with it. Because whether you're funny or you're not, like it's just cringe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you embraced it. I was the only one left to do, man. Screw it. <laughs> Mike, too. I hope I'm not boring you, Mike. No, man. <laughs> No, yeah. Mike always keeps it real too, so that's why I've always been. Yeah, a lot of projects too you have going. I, I know you've been dabbling too with tequila. I've been yeah, yeah, your, I've been uh, doing. Tell me about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm selling liquor now. Yes, yeah, so I've been doing that. I, I partnered up How's with. How's that uh, going? Um, it's going good. You know, something kind of fun. I never thought something I'd get into it. And actually, coincidentally, with uh, with De La Hoya, with, uh, yeah. with Oscar, we're partners in that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, Casa Mexico Tequila is what it's called. It's really good tequila. And uh, we actually went down to Jalisco in the plant not too long ago okay. just to kind of visit everyone. So but tequila, uh, tequila Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Casa Mexico tequila is the name of it. You know, we got silver, reposado, añejo, and it's, uh, and it's good. That and it's good. So, yeah. you, get you fucked up. <laughs> it, it'll get you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it'll do the trick. Hey, but if you have really good tequila and just the tequila, you won't have a hangover because no. of the agave right there. No. I used to drink everything. One what time. was your drink of choice? What would you like? Anything, what, um, Louis the Thirteenth, cognac, oh, yeah. it's cognac, anything cognac. Cognac ah, is good too. Yeah. Ooh, that, that yeah, that 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 does it. I mean, you got to be. Yeah, yeah, but when it hits you, yeah, it's like an uppercut that came from nowhere, huh? <laughs> yeah, but no, but it's been some time. It's been some time though, right, Mike? Since you drank, right? You Fix you that and got. Oh, good for you. You find it hard? Is it hard? I haven't thought about. It. I did that toad shit and wiped it. I'm telling you, people think I'm lying. I did this toe, you take his pus, you throw it in the, when, um, the mirror, it dries off, and yeah. you get your fine dust, you smoke it, and it gives you, you go to heaven. Yeah, and now you're cool. Yeah. Hey, do you like gummies? Well, um, the edibles? Uh, nothing edible, no. <laughs> nothing edible? No, because I don't know when it's going to hit me. He don't, huh. he don't what yeah. I do. Okay. Uh, I you like the edibles? <laughs> yeah. 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 So it just uh, for recreation, or does it help uh, you with just, the injuries? Um, a little bit. I think to sleep. I, listen, I take some edibles and we chill. Boom! Then hit you an hour later. Yeah, yeah. And I'm prepared for it. I right. can't. I can't do that. <laughs> I just can't wait. Unless it's a going to bed move. For me, not really, Mike. I've seen. Dude, you. Uh, <laughs> it takes a lot to get them, though, dude. I bet. So, so I think. Sure? I think. Uh, no, no. I've been hearing some good things, though. Shrooms are beautiful. I'm just They're beautiful? Them. Yeah. I had, to, I had to calm down. Every show, I always had to do a handful of shrooms. That's what I was hearing. Like, what's, like, tell me the difference between that and, like, 
when you're just going to smoke it out? Mushrooms? Yeah. The mushrooms can make you think that you're God and everybody's here just for your entertainment and stuff and nothing's real. This is not really real. The world is just here wow. for your amusement. Damn, that's yeah. deep. Whoa, it's crazy, right? That's, how long does it last? I don't know. It can last for a while. That's it can last for a while? It can last for a while. Shrooms do you, do you sleep okay? No, you can't sleep. Oh, you can't sleep? You can't sleep in shrooms. Okay, I don't no. know. No, but that's that's partially what got him into the other... I mean, the, the toad is what really did it for, for Mike. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That a lot of 330 there. pounds. I remember. Shit, and then, boom. I just smoked the toad. to get in shape. And I smoked it again to, to fuck some niggas up. Oh, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. So when you ate, because when I because I was there when you fought Jones, yeah. which you won, by the way, I don't know why yeah, they did okay. that. Was, they went to charity. No, I know, I know what charity. But uh, you were smoking before, huh? Yeah, why not? Yeah, no, I didn't know it. I didn't smoke. I went fight. I didn't smoke. Really? I was nervous as a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine not being high? I mean, whoa. Fuck. Well, but, what, but what about your reflexes, Mike? How was that? Oh, that was kind of good. It was good. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm t- trying to kill him. I it was good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I just didn't know if, you know, on point you want to be. <laughs> yeah, he's a bigger guy. I love that, see? Hey, speaking about that, man, would you ever want to get into Legends League with uh, with Mike? You well, box. not with Mike. <laughs> no, not with Mike, but <laughs> not with his show. <laughs> fight, though. Uh, you going to fight um, Luke uh, Paul? Uh, oh, one of the Paul brothers yeah, right there? You know, it's Paul, funny because I hosted those fights. I hosted yeah. that one, hosted yours right there. Look, I'm not opposed to the big events that they have. I think, I, do you agree with me, Mike? I think all attention is good for the sport. If it's going to raise the sport of boxing, Absolutely. I think it's all good, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, see, yeah, you get it. Those guys, those guys help boxing. Right. No boxer has, that's why everybody wants to fight him. They got like, what, what he got, 700 million views or something? Yeah. Shit. He, when we fought with him, he had 80 million views watching him. Yeah, I see it. I think it's all that expression. What is it? High tides raise all boats. So I think I think everyone wins. So of course. You, so you don't you don't think it's affecting the you don't think it's it's affecting the sport of boxing? I think it's in. I think it falls under the entertainment category, and yes. I think like like, like the, a movie or something. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and the sport is boxing. Exactly. As long yeah. as they're bored. Yeah, it, way, look, the, okay. the fact that I, I I really do. I feel that the the fact that the word boxing is being. Um, talked about so much and the attention is there and it's raising the awareness level it can't help but have a benefit towards everyone are you coming from a place of like the fighters who have put in all he's this a, time no, 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 from no. A pride, no I'm, perspective. I'm just asking you I, I people, actually agree with you yeah these guys make boxing so awesome yeah but you know boxers get angry because the boxers like the real champions don't even have that many views yeah. right they'd be happy if they have a million views yeah, yeah. these guys got 80 million views I was listening. I was like, God damn, man. How do you do that? Yeah. You know what but, I mean? That's but why I, everybody wants to kill him because they see this little white guy, blonde hair, blue eyes, <laughs> making all this fucking money, talking all this shit. Yeah. Everybody wants to kill him. Yeah, hey, he's clever like, like a it, fox. Yeah. He's been able to, you know. I get you know, envious when I see these guys do yeah, yeah. What the fuck is but, this? But I think on the <laughs> flip side, too. That's why you want to kick it back you get envious of it. It's easy to hate those guys. No, you know? right. And this is like some new era stuff, right? Because they became popular on YouTube and they created their own uh, following and allegiance Absolutely. of fans. And then they brought them over. I mean, yeah. I, they could have kind of chose any kind and of they athlete. They got balls. He goes around hitting people in the head with water bottles and everything. Yeah. He snatched Floyd's hat. Floyd tried to kill him, though. Right? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Like, hey, Floyd should have kept that hat on right there. He should have left it. <laughs> His dome wasn't cleaned up. Right. <laughs> His dome wasn't right. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. No, but I mean, even Floyd gets it's going in there. He sees he sees the uh, um, the revenue that it can generate yeah. and that it's obviously going to be pretty lucrative to him. But listen, no matter what, all jokes aside, anybody that steps in the ring, because believe me, being in there and strong, I yeah. give props to anyone. And I have respect yeah. for anyone that steps in the ring. When I did that, yeah. after I did that fight and came back, I said, I'm never going to call a fight up bum again. Cause when I had, I was, oh, nigga, my first time spawn, I got the shit kicked out. Like, fuck. When you haven't done it in a minute, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, hit the ring, but never once I say, hey, what the fuck am I doing here? Said, I'm in the right place. Yeah, when yeah. My head was ringing, that whole oh, fuck, I got back to this shit. Again. <laughs> that feeling came back. Bro. Right, it's like, dang, man. Yeah, it's hard to get like there. But I, I will say something about YouTube boxing. I think it's going to help the guys, that the number ones, like, this, like the Terrence Crawford and... Uh, Errol Spence. And Errol Spence, like, it's going to force these dudes to fight sooner rather than later. They, those because... guys want to fight the YouTube guys. <sighs> well, that's where they get that. The, yeah, the pro- here's the problem. Chance like that want to fight the No, no that'll be guys. a problem, you know what I'm saying? No, Cause listen, that's... listen. Floyd better fight than all those guys right now. Floyd right now is better fighting than all those guys. Even though he's 47, he's still better than all the fighters now, and he's fighting the YouTuber. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And he's making more money than the champion to make it yep. rough in and, and flip the other guy. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, though, together. Mike. This is where I would have a problem if these – the guy, Floyd's retired, man. Floyd can do whatever he wants. I'm saying the guys that are active, they're trying to take fights with these dudes. They're going to – you know what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford and uh, Earl Spence, when are they going to fight? Well, that's the irony and the – sort of hypocrisy with the sport too because as opposed to um, the UFC for example where Dana White has a monopoly control, and all that yeah. he can control and kind of set the price and do you know do what he wants right and you can get the matchups you want to see and from a fan's perspective it's great because mm -hmm. you see number one fight number two all the time with boxing being so fragmented and having so many promoters yeah. as you know in different factions you, it's difficult not only to make the matchups, but ironically, you make more money <laughs> because of that because you're able to have the opportunities yeah, to rent. Negotiations. The fighters mm -hmm. need to negotiate. Those have them, man. The, fight, the only thing a fighter need is a trainer and a lawyer. You're exactly right. They don't need all his buddies. They don't need no bodyguard, a trainer and a lawyer. So you can, the fighters can demand it, and they can make it happen if they can make it go to But you got too many people in your ear saying, oh, you don't need that, or you're worth this, and you're worth that, and then you end up. Yeah, I just want to clean it out first. Then we're going to talk about I know I get all the money now. Once I clean everything out, yeah. I demand everything. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah but I'm not worrying about give me this, give me this now. You don't have to give me nothing now. Right. Just let me clean it out. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy because it's not so many, not even guys like Jake Paul, like anybody that loves the sport of boxing that's a celebrity can make something big out of it, you know? How many people would love to see man, I, Dude, I'd pay to watch you and Usher fight. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good not one. Hey, that you guys would. I'm down for charity. I'm, I'm down yeah. for charity to charity. kind of get up there. You know, to get, I don't so, know if NBC would allow call, me too much, call, but I'm sure for a charitable component. Call Usher out, please. <laughs> no, Usher's my homie. I have no <laughs> issue with Usher. You're starting off that, but I would be happy. <laughs> to get in there on a charitable, uh, <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying, like somebody yeah, sure. that somebody that would be yeah, well man. recognized, that sure. that has a fight background. No, no, you right. I'm, hey, I'm, you know, I'm down to get in there with anybody, Mike. <laughs> with charitable oh, I'm down to. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's gonna be in the entertainment field. Yeah. Right? If not, I'm down to get in there. I didn't think it was gonna be that hard to come back. I said, "Fuck, nigga, shit." Yeah. Oh, your back's hard. You gotta start moving. People throwing punches hard. You but know, the I, conditioning's I, I, different, right, Mike? You can think yeah. you're in shape, but then when you're in fighting shape, that's a whole other thing, shape, as you know. Different. And I, but I could tell you something though. Like Mike does change when he was in fight camp. You're a lot more serious. He, he'd go to the gym. He'd train. You know what I'm saying? We're you know right now we're yeah, you know we're yeah, shooting yeah. the shit. But when he's training, dude, oh, it's no, like he gets in the zone, of course. But, but, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> those nerves never leave on Mike. <laughs> it's a different world you in. You know you can get humiliated, you get fucked up. A lot of things can happen in that ring. That's when you're the most vulnerable yeah. in there by yourself. That's the purest form of sport, one on one. Yeah. No one to, to rely on, no one to have your back. It's just you in there, man. Yeah. Well, you know all about that fool. So what am I saying? Yeah. No, no <laughs> kidding. No, it, and that's the way it is, man. This is why you know, guys. This is why fighters are pretty well respected like worldwide. Oh, of course. Because they know that it, it takes some grit, some balls, man, to go in there in front of 25,000 people. Oh, know? no, it's biggest respect. It's a metaphor respect. for life. Fighting. Exactly. It's a metaphor. Because we're all fighters. Yep. Right? You're all exactly right. We're all fighters. We all get knocked down. It's a matter yeah. if you want to get back up and you want to keep persevering and keep moving forward. Exactly. And Whole it's like, world. Everybody got cats, mothers, dogs. Yeah, everybody's battling something. Yeah. Everyone's battling something. That's why it was important for me to get my kids into it. See, I got three kids. And How so old are your like kids a, now? Ten, seven, and one. Wow. So, you know, they're, li yeah, they're little guys still. Cool. You close, are you closing the shop, dude? Or are you going to keep... Uh... Well, if I should, no, I would keep going if it was up to me, but, you know, I'm not the one having them, so... Yeah, yeah. What does your, what your, what your wife say? I mean, She's if like, it was up yeah, to... I'm trying to, I'm trying to kind of work on it. Well, I've been putting a lot of work in, so we may get a surprise, and who knows? <laughs> yeah. No kidding, dude. <laughs> so, later, so later on, but... That's, that's one thing Mexicans Andy, have problems with. how many babies do you have, Henry? How many kids? You don't have any, yeah, right? I don't have any kids. Don't have I'm any like, can I announce it right now, Mike? Yeah, you pregnant? Go ahead. <laughs> you pregnant? <laughs> no, I ain't pregnant. Is your girl pregnant? I, I may look pregnant. Not you, <laughs> fool. Is your girl pregnant? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm actually gonna. Oh, are you really? Yeah, yeah my girl's pregnant. Oh, dude. Shit. Yeah, congratulations. No, I told you lying. Mike, dude. Oh, oh no, that's lying. great. He's Breaking lying. news. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, bro. Hey, that's late for a Mexican. That's good for it you. It is, it is, man. <laughs> no, it really is, man. In reality, you know, you know what I'm saying, Mike? Being coming from Mexican descent, like, you know. 18, early. 19, 20, <laughs> five kids. Listen, Good for you, right? Time yeah. You know yes. why time changes? People, we don't need to depend on people. Everybody can get their own job, their own money. So people get married later. Yeah. They're more independent well, now. I, I feel like That's I've it. done it right, though, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know, 34. I, you know, I made some money. I'm not, not the money that I necessarily want. 
but I have enough money to be like, all right, man, and start to invest and yeah, as long as start that next chapter. Yeah. You know? Nobody knows when it's right. Who knows when it's right? Yeah. Nobody never knows when it's right. You're right. There is no plan. When there's it feels no. Feels right. Yep. Yeah. So I've been reading a bunch of books on like uh, on pregnancy and things like that. Like what a woman goes through, man, for yeah. nine months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just hey, just be there and be like whatever you need, honey, and just yeah. say yes, and you're so, good. So so a scent. Yeah, hey, yeah, trust me, it'll go a long way <laughs> later on. But that's good, man. Do you know what you're having? You're going to wait to find out? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, gonna, I'm actually, I'm going to have a little girl, a baby girl. Oh, you already know a baby girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did it through. So I went to What's Brazil. My name? girl's Brazilian. What's name? Uh, America. 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 Is, yeah. is your girl's name yeah. or the baby? No, the, my, the baby. Yeah. You already got the name for it, okay. Yeah, you got the name. Is there just, uh, you thought about it, obviously. Yeah, why why yeah, America? For, for a minute. I've always wanted a little girl, man, you know, and I've always thought about it. And it's, it's sure, and I'm not surprised that I'm having one. You know, so I just feel like I got to soften up a little bit, you know? Yeah, I think nah, I'll soften you. You'll yeah. see, you'll hold them one time and that's it, you're done. <laughs> it's going to be easy, man. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you, brother. Yeah, so, so I'm excited, dude. I'm excited, yeah. man. First time. When she do? hungry and more determined. She's, she's, yeah. doing a, she's due November 21st. Okay. Ooh. And yeah, but, but for sure, Mike, I, I already feel like I'm thinking different. Yeah, exactly. You, know? you do. You still, well, and then once they're here, where I was, I was going my thing, it was so, see, I, I've always loved obviously fighting martial arts and all that so it was important for my for my kids my daughter's starting to get into it too that's why i love getting them into like wrestling and boxing not i mean obviously not just for the physical aspect but it gives you so much confidence exactly you know what i mean just in life it gives you confidence you feel assured yeah. um I, I i think just the respect factor in it yeah. all the disciplines you need like in life don't you agree obviously. yeah yeah I mean, i'm feeling it now it, but like I, i've experienced a lot of cool things dude but I haven't experienced like what the average person would probably experience. You know what I'm saying? I'm 34 years old and I'm finally first having a kid. Yeah, that's okay. You know I'm still I'm young, dude. Yeah. No, for sure. Was, but for sure. Good. For sure. But you're 39. <laughs> Damn. The first one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's good. You're little. You're young, but you're you're a little older to appreciate it a little bit more. Right, so it's good. Right. It's and good. I would have waited actually. What's the crazy part about? It? I would have waited a couple more years. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so like you're yeah. right, dude. Thirty nine is your, perfect. Your pull out game is weak then. <laughs> <laughs> pull out game is weak. Pull out game. You got, you got no gold medal at the pull out game. I call it. I call. I call it the Mexican foreskin. Uh, I can't believe this guy. Said that. <laughs> oh, the uncut club. All right. Yeah, Ole, okay, all right. Play. He's real Mexican. Okay. <laughs> Keep that. We learned about him today. He's Mike. uncut. He's got a hooded Mike's monster, tripping, Mike. Dude. Got the I hooded just, monster. Just made Mike can appreciate cringe. that. Mike knows what's up. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to look at your hooded monster, Henry. Hot boxing. Hot boxing. Hot boxing. No, no. Mike's about to pull out something. That's good, Henry. Yeah, so I'm excited, man, because of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I grew up I grew up with a single parent home. And now that I'm going to be a, fa uh, a father, dude, it's like, dude, this is this, this shit is new to me, so man. So you getting married? Yeah, man. So I proposed. So we went down to Brazil before we had the baby, the baby reveal party, man. I had a, you know, her whole family was there. So I had a, you know, the tr traditional. You got on your knees and shit? I got, a, I got on one knee. I don't know what about. What is your problem, <laughs> Henry? You got on the 22nd century, Henry. <laughs> Where'd you meet homegirl? You bend in the uh, knee, man. I'm bending the, the knee, knee, Mike. I bent the Hashtag knee. Hashtag bend the knee. Yeah, so she. I, I met, in the ring, huh? Yeah, so huh. I, met, I, I met her in Brazil. She's very. She ruled traditional. Her, her, her. She was raised by her great grandmother. So and her great grandmother just passed away due to COVID like about a month ago. Okay. And then. She found out she was pregnant with my baby like the day that her gra great grandmother died. Oh wow, okay. So it was weird, That's man. She weird. had a dream about her great grandmother. She said I took a test because I thought this stuff was weird. Yeah. And then she know what the next day. Yep, sure enough, you know you're pregnant. Hey. She's pregnant. I'm not pregnant. You're not. She's pregnant. You're, you're, you're pregnant. You're, you got You got to start saying that in front of her. She'll like that. It's like a community team effort. We're thing. pregnant. We're pregnant. See, Mike knows what's up. Mike knows what's up. <laughs> that's good yeah man. bro so i keep so, it going <laughs> so i did it so mike i did it in front of like the family man which was like you know yeah i bent the knee but you know i had a, i had a, i had to man because i felt like i owed that you to be me. responsible yeah you're exactly. responsible brother exactly yeah. hey, hey it's a saying, game mike? changer you like it trust me you're not, you're not gonna be here long in life you yeah. have to do something yeah and leave something behind that's right yeah or else, what's the point? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Speaking about proposals, Mike, did you ever, did you ever propose or anything like that, Mike? Or? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, tell, how was it? How was your proposal, man? Let's get married. Just like that? Just. Yeah, let's get married. You guys are in bed. Let's just get married. Yeah, let's get married. Why fuck around? Right. So there? you in bed the knee? No, I'm missing bed. Let's get married. No. Yeah. 
I took a shower. I had put on my suit, and I believe, um, I don't know what she did. She was coming in from the store, and she was dressed nice. I said, let's get married. We had a kid, so I said, let's get married. So I, <laughs> Did yeah. she say yes right away? Yeah. She was asking me to get married before. I was like, okay. get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so it was more like, ah, let's get married. No, I wish it was <laughs> like that. I was like, let's, let's get married. That's tight. Good for you. So what about you, Marvel, man? How, I, I, dude, hey, I know this dude's Rico Suave, man. No, no, no. How no, did you do it, shit, bro? No, man, I've been married. Shit, I've been. You forgot, huh? For a while. Huh, now. No, I've been with my girl now like 13 years. It's been a minute. Yeah. It's I been got a minute. 12 years. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're on the same program right there. Damn, hey, yeah, but yeah, but how did you propose? I'm about to be 48, though. So it was like, I proposed, I'll tell you how. I was in Mexico, too. I was in Zihuatanejo. Remember that? You ever heard of that place? Yeah, yeah. Remember in, um, in uh, Red, uh, Shawshank, Shawshank Redemption? Yeah. Like, yeah. They wanted to go chill down Mustafa. there. So we were over there. Yeah, man, Stop. Very good. And it was on the beach and the whole thing. Yeah. And so, you know, had the ring out. Got on the knee. Bend the oh, knee and so, you know, <laughs> they remember all that. They remember all that. I had mariachis. I had mariachis yeah. playing and stuff. I hit the thing. The mariachi started. Yeah. Then we got hammered. It was great. That's what's up, dude. So yeah. How did you do it? Did you bring it out on a play? Like, was it like you? No, no. I had it in my pocket. Dessert? No, I had it in my pocket? pocket. But you know, it was a trip. I remember for some reason when I was going through security at the airport, and I had it in my pocket. I didn't want to lose it. And the key, it buzzed, and he wanted to see it. And I was like, shit, I didn't want to. So I told the guy, hey, can I talk to you for a second? So he had to take me around. And I had to send, hey, look, here's the ring, this and that. And I go, you know, I didn't want to bring it out in front of him. So he was cool about it and stuff. Yeah, so most of the time, cool. they would have made you bring it out right there. And I would have had to do it right there at LAX. I've been a mean get, one. Oh, Let's shit. Get married. Let's get married. Let's get married. <laughs> Damn, this turned like, into a different kind of show, what I was thinking about. Yeah, right oh, <laughs> yeah, I got the tissue. This is like Dr. Get Phil married. right here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's cool, man. Cause I know, I, Mike, you got seven kids, right, Mike? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mike ain't shooting blanks. You ain't shooting yeah, blanks. No. Do you get snipped, Mike? Huh? Do you get snipped? Why? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you have it anymore. No, nah, no more kids, though. No. no, okay. No more kids. Uh, my wife doesn't want me to Remember, you never pay. And you never know. I know. Wife's like, hey, after this next one, you got to get snipped them all. Shit, I don't know. Yeah, my, who knows? <laughs> Mike, my, Mike. My wife won't marry no more. Okay. And, and that's, that's it. it. I don't want any more kids. No, no. Hey, that's a good number. You got <laughs> <laughs> You're straight. They're good, they're good kids too. Oh, that's good. That's the best. That's important. Did they ever ask you about dad? Show me. Mm -mm, they're, not, they're not that kind. They just yeah. Spoiled little kids. They're <laughs> smart kids. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, it's not like I want my kids necessarily to fight, but I do want them to know. Yeah. And again, yeah, I just he, think it's important. I like all the the disciplines that it comes with. Yeah. And the, the respect factor. Right, because obviously I keep up with you, man. I see, you know, the way you treat your kids. You do a lot of family stuff with them. Yeah. A lot of dances and things yeah. like that. That's my all, daughter. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. well, they, they all have a personality, dude. Like, you can tell they ain't shy, man. Yeah, yeah. No, no, they're you not know, shy. They'll, yeah. they'll dance when, when you say they're dance. They're the next generation of Lopez and show business. There you go. Exactly. That's what they're trying, trying to get the whole, you know. Family Gigi, yeah. right? I can yeah, see yeah, Gigi. Gigi. I can see. I can see yeah. both Gigi and yeah. Nico. Uh, yeah. She comes out actually in the new Christmas movie with me. Yeah. My daughter does. She's, she's, What's the name of it? It's called Holiday in Santa Fe. Yeah. It takes place in Santa Fe, New Mexico. She does a really good job in it. Actually, she plays my niece. No way. And it's like you know, a romantic, a romantic kind of um, okay, comedy. So you, okay, film. so you're you're the uncle and she's the niece. I'm the uncle. She's the niece. Yeah. And we own a family shop, and yeah. it's about to get bought out by a corporation. But a woman comes and yeah. saves you know, the day. Yeah, I kind of say the day we fall in love, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's okay, time. okay. Oh, no. It's a little more to it than that, but. Yeah, there'll be, there'll be some more babies popping up <laughs> after go. that movie. <laughs> right? But, yeah, but it's going to be fun, man. So, yeah, so doing all that. So, yeah, so, you know, like I said, you know, blessed and, and happy to be working and all that, but I still love to, I still love to get in there. To, no to Both the boxing and the, the jiu-jitsu and yeah. the wrestling, the whole yeah. thing, man. Even you doing a little judo. You're man. You're getting torn <laughs> yeah. apart, man. You're going to still do that stuff. Man. I know. That's the thing. I feel like, remember the end of, remember in the Blues Brothers at the end, the car oh. that comes and just go, goes apart? That's how my body feels. But right now, thank God, I feel good. I haven't gotten injured. I'm feeling strong. Oh, yeah, cause I was at the gym this morning. I'm sparring Wednesday. I'm going to spar Wednesday in the morning. So oh, boxing, so, but then tomorrow I got jujitsu. So yeah, I try so to mix just, it up. Okay, so you do it like that, bro. How many rounds do you typically do when you spar? It depends. Like if I'm gonna go with one guy, usually he'll get a little bit tired on me. But we're gonna go a couple different guys. Last time I went, I did like six rounds. 
six rounds sparring straight. Damn, you know, and they do good. the thirty second rest there. Yeah, so that shit's thirty. hard, man. Yeah, no, it is. That if you haven't gotten, you got to build up to it. You can't. Once yeah. you got it, you got it. Yeah, and then you learn like, might you start learning how to relax a little bit? And, yeah, like, you know, play don't, a little don't defense. Blow your wad. You don't want to blow your wad. It's all about being selective. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't blow the wad. You know, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, you sleep so good though at night. Yeah, you sleep Damn, I actually kind of, I kind of actually kind of miss like just sparring, but just boxing. Yeah, because boxing's so. It's it's only it's it's the hands, dude. And you oh, gotta I protect know. this that butt. You gotta just find pockets and where to hit. Hey, when you're training on uh, the MMA, you can't obviously go when you're sparring full force with the boxing and the kicks. Or how does it or can't or how does it work? Because then you have the big gloves. How are you gonna grapple? No, how, well, does it, how does it work? No, you could. I mean, you focus on one discipline at a no, time. No, no, right? no, no. I don't. I don't do that no more. I, I every time everything I do now is all based on MMA. But you just find bigger gloves. Actually, Vitor Belford created some gloves where you're where they're like normal boxing gloves, but then you're able to grab with the actual hands. Huh? What a trip! Yeah. So you're so you're able to kind of come out of the glove. Huh? Which is cool. You know, yeah. so you can hit them. That's a trip. And then you can grab them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Dang, you know. Can you believe they throw throwing four ounce gloves? Oh, four ounce gloves. That's like a batting glove. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> You, right. you ain't catching too many shuffle four ounce gloves. Well, that doesn't need too well, many. Well, I even think I even think in Thailand they uh they actually they Did legitimately. You see, um, that guy getting knocked out the other day was Masvidal. What's his name? Um, Masvidal. Masvidal. Oh, Masvidal. Yeah. yeah wow. Oh, that was a pretty left hook. Boom. The, uh, Usman's gotten better with the striking. Man, he looked good. And Masvidal was the one that was supposed to be yeah. pretty sharp with his hands, but he did a nice little feint, a big left hook, straight right hand down the pipe. That was pretty. Yeah. It's, yeah he, it's, it's, he's, he's right. Got a, that was pretty. It's his leverage, bro. I think that's what makes Usman Kamaru. Uh, he's a wrestler. And he's a wrestler, but it's his leverage. I mean, look at his reach, bro. And then it's, look how big he is for that weight. Well, I think like wrestlers have heavy hands, dude. <laughs> it seems that way. Yeah. I mean, besides Ben Askren, but yeah, the majority. Oh, oh man. Man. Last. That was like, I don't know. I, thought, I was so tripping on that. Like, homie's taking shots by Robbie Lawler, all these dudes. And you, that was going to put you down with the one. I mean, gosh, dude. Yeah. That was a mean one. I was a, I was surprised by that, to be honest. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't let him hit him again. No, I know. That was cool that he didn't let him hit him again. Homie was all smiling afterwards. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's... Were you a little surprised by that? No, no. I knew he was, I knew he was going to get knocked. I actually called it. I was going to give him, like, round two. With one shot? But Ben has Ben has no hands, bro. Like, he never... No, I know, but he has a good chin he showed. That's why I was surprised, because you've seen him take some hard shots before. Yeah. That's but, why I was surprised. Yeah, but having a good chin is not like a good... Uh, <laughs> No, but he's taken great shots with yeah. four ounce gloves. I figured with, what were they fighting with ten ounce, right? So that was I was surprised. Yeah, but then he came, out of, he, he came out of he came out of hip surgery hard, and yeah. and all that. Like yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. he had no business. In I know he made yeah. good money too. That's yeah, a lot of yeah. money. I think he probably he made, I think he probably made a million dollars. I think. So. Yeah, hey, well then good for him. You know, yeah. prize fighting. <laughs> That's right. what it's all about. Right, it just kind of hurts them and make him. Uh, you know, it's just now Clarissa Shields. Did you hear about that, Mike? She's a thought. Going in the UFC. Yeah. You she's know, gonna she's going to be fighting the PFL sometime next, I think June 7th or June 8th. Oh, is it PFL she's, she's fighting? Oh, she's going to fight the girl Carla, I think. Okay. But as good as she is of a boxer, Mike, she's I'm not sure trouble. she can. I'm not sure. I, she might. She's going to be in trouble, bro, to say the least. I well, think so, how I just want to see it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. It, it's going to show us that. But Henry, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's not like. It's very different if you haven't grown up wrestling or grappling because you can't just, your instincts just to learn how to sprawl and just, to, that that takes a lot of mat time, just like boxing, learning yeah. how to roll. and so, Am I right? Yeah. Is you can't just learn how to sprawl and grapple overnight. You can't you can either that or you're the greatest athlete of all time. So you can't, right, exactly. You can't prepare for the pressure of that, you know, when a guy right. grabs, what the fuck do I do? Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they, they grab you. So I'm like going to hook him and have both your hands No, grab, that's it. You know? Once you get on the ground, that's it. All the boxing's gone. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm yeah. saying, my prediction is, and I'm not hating not Clarissa Shield, but she's in trouble with the average girl in mixed martial arts spirit, right? because of the takedowns. Man, I want to see defend, it. I just want to see it. Exactly. Man, you go in there, she's, she's so mean and shit. Yeah. And if she does, man, I'll be like, dude, I will bend the knee to her too. Bend the knee and marry her? <laughs> she's going to marry her too? He's going to have a harem over here. Hop, can hop, you marry two times? Yeah. yeah. You can. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Henry, let me ask you, would you say, how far did you get in jiu-jitsu with your jiu-jitsu? Uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I didn't, I, I use more jiu-jitsu, ju I want to hurt people more than actually submit people. No, I know, but I'm saying like in the training, how far would you say? I, I, like even, go past a, I even go past a white belt. Dude. Is that right? Yeah. So, so that wasn't it, so it was more about just the grappling It was more, hand. yeah, but I could submit people. 
Yeah. Like black belts. And I've actually submitted world champions before with just some of my wrestling skills. <laughs> From just the wrestle, from yeah. Because the they have like problems the with the base. Like, yeah, they don't know the so many moves. And the and the pressure, right? Mm -hmm. And then you wear them out, and yeah. you wear them out, you wear them, and next you know things just fall into your hands. Yeah, it's like, a trip. Yeah. Yeah. It's but you're right. That's that's Maybe that's one art that I probably should have, but, man, I want to hurt people. You know? Yeah. Like, get on top of them and just cut, yeah, yeah. cut, elbow. You hear this, man? Yeah. <laughs> Violent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's all violent over here. I like. Hey, you know what? I've been in the last. I was at the Taylor Shaw one. I was at the Mighty yeah. Mouse one. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was at the one. Did you see yeah, the Marias? Did. You see when I fought Marlon yeah. Marias? Yeah, I saw. I wasn't at that one, but I saw that one. Yeah. That was great. That was probably one of the best comebacks I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. And MMA. I'm gonna give him props on that one. I thought. I ain't gonna lie. After that first round, I go, Oh shit! He yeah. kicks you one more time. I said, My guy is gone. That was one yeah. of the best he in came back, adjustments. Came baby. He ain't know Real. about that Mexican <laughs> warrior. Yeah. He yeah. showed that, yeah. that spirit in the. In the, the <laughs> Where with the knowledge to adjust, man. Yeah. Well, I had to. Because you know what I'm saying? And you've been there before, right, Mike? Well, you had to adjust. If not, you didn't get fucked up. <laughs> Whoa. But Mike, a lot of guys don't know how to make the adjustment. They make they know how to fight one way, and then they don't know how to make just the adjustments. Like that. Just like life. If you don't right. adapt, you die. Yep. That's exactly. And like you said, yeah. fighting's like life. You're exactly right. If you don't adapt, you die. Damn, Mike's coming with some knowledge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Don't get him started, bro. Kicking get pearls him. today. Yeah, some, sh some mushrooms, dude. He'll be. Uh, <laughs> dang. He'll some be. Mushrooms. Uh, <laughs> Shroomy day. Dude, he'll, be, Shroomy dude, he'll day. be giving you poems, bro. Oh, Shit, dude. <laughs> this guy's so sick over here. Aristotle over here. All right. <laughs> Man, that's what's up, Mario. Man, well, uh, any any new pro? I mean, other than uh, any new projects in the future that you're pl planning on, baby? Netflix doing got there? anything to do with you? With what? I'm sorry. Are you working with Netflix? Or anybody? I I just did a show with them. We ended. I was producing a yeah. show over there called uh, Expanding Universe of Ashley yeah. Garcia. We we finished that one, but. Um, at the moment, no. At the moment, no. But, um, you know, we got the new, like I said, Save the Bell season coming out on Peacock. That's one of those new streaming services, too, for NBC. And then we got some other Familiar stuff cooking Peacock. right there. So some other fun, exciting stuff cooking. Yeah, that's you know? cool, man. Speaking about that, like, I think, uh, was it uh, Dustin Diamond passed away? Screech. Yeah. yeah. He just passed away not too long ago, he right? He did, man. He was young. Poor guy. A he few got... months ago, right? Yes, he did, as a matter of fact. He had cancer. And when he went to go get a checkup, it was already, like, stage four. And uh. literally two weeks later. Two weeks, boom, that was it, poor guy. It happened to anybody, not too late for that. Anybody. anybody. Yeah. yeah, it was like a, I believe like a throat type of cancer or something, something around this, like a lymph node, yeah. throat, something like that. You know, poor guy, you never know, man. You know, one of those things. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing, fool? That ain't funny. No, no, no I'm saying a screech. I, just, <laughs> I was like, I remember, I remember laughing at cancer. Get the high on Nah, nah. He's shrewd over here. Gosh, damn. No, because I remember screech how you fought China. So that's what came to mind. Remember when you fought China, the celebrity match? What did he China? Fight China? He did fight China. No, he didn't fight the China. Girl, he fought China. China. Look it up. No, not somebody the look it up, dude. China. No, he did. He fought. He fought Horshack from Welcome Back Carter in the celebrity match. He was like, Oh, that was a real boxing no, match. No, no, look at. Can you look it up? Can you look it up? He fucked him up. Please? He did. He fucked him up. But no, he didn't fight China. Fool, he didn't fight a woman. I no, swear no, to you, he did, dude. I swear to you. He did not fight. Look it up, dude. Look it up. I promise you. I promise you, did not fight a woman. He fucked Horshack up, man. Yeah, he fucked Horshack up. He did. He fucked Horshack up. <laughs> he, either eight. that, whatever I just smoked right now is freaking, it's hard, man. Oh, damn. Go for it, but Blaze. Henry's going to be a dad, dude. You got to chill. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to change your life, brother. Yes yeah. or no? Huh? He didn't fight China, huh? He never fought See? China. No, fool. He might have been to China. He, he didn't fight yeah. China. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> that little dude with the bagel? Yeah. Fuck, dude. Dustin Who? Diamond versus China. Did you look that up? Yeah, you he didn't fight yeah. him, fool. <laughs> Hey, for a charity thing, who would you think I should step in with? Who would be cool? Man, I would love to one see. One of those DJs or rappers. I would love to I see you against uh, one. one of the Jonas Brothers. I think they, I think they, uh. Why? Pobrecitos, why do you want to, why do you want to get no, those guys they, beat they up? No, they're legitimately. Uh, trying to get one of those guys beat up. <laughs> Come on, man. They're not, they're not um, walkover guys. You can't just walk over those guys. Well. <laughs> you, um, what do you mean, Mike? They're not punks. Stuff. No, see, no, I know. you see what I'm saying? Hey, I, I don't. I, hey, anybody can they train, that, right? like I said, do they train? Okay, I, I'm just thinking of guys. The other guy that I can think of, maybe uh, Wes Khalifa, dude. That's He's in the gym, dude. Wes <laughs> Khalifa, oh, we got that height, yeah. Hey, you know what I'm good, saying? Hey, we have a good time after the fight, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. down. I'm down, <laughs> Wes. I like Wes too. <laughs> hey, you got your. Uh, Hold on, he asked me. He asked me, Mike. He asked me. Hey, I like. Hey, you got diverse. 
uh, Nick Jonas, Wiz Khalifa. That's tight. You got a lot of faith in me, Henry. Gosh damn, Henry. Shit, I'm trying to build you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get you killed. Uh, no. Dang. I know both those dudes. They're both cool dudes. Uh, so that's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of celebrities now. Like I, I see, even Justin Bieber's around the game a lot too. Huh? Yeah, he likes it. He likes it a lot. He was at the the last event right there. Triller likes to. I mean, pardon me. Um, uh, Bieber likes to train. Who else have I seen? It Matthew McConaughey I've seen in the gyms. My boy Mark Wahlberg likes to train. Not so much anymore. You, you know who I would love to fight with? Who I would love to fight with Holly Berry. Holly, why, would you yeah. want to do Holly? That? why not, dude? <laughs> Yo, man, Holly's gonna fuck you up. Man. Yeah, <laughs> Holly trains. She might fuck you up. <laughs> Holly trades. <laughs> Holly Berry, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you Holly out. Berry Holly Berry and Jennifer Lopez be a good fight though, because they Jay both Love, they both they're up? both smoking. <laughs> and, and <laughs> they're both over fifty, and they look incredible. <laughs> they look incredible. They look incredible. They look incredible if they were thirty. Yeah, you know yeah, it's crazy. And you you've actually aged very very That's well too, See? bro. Homie's clearly very been well. taking shrooms. These are here. No, I appreciate it. Thank no, every, you. everybody, everybody <laughs> I talk is like, dude, Marlo, he still looks like he's like he was a, that kid in Saved by the Bell, oh, man. Stay in, in the gym, the gym rack. That's stay right. In the we gym, stay in baby. there, Mike. That's what's up. Stay in there. Friends, friends are cool. Tell me say what's up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're. Uh, I was gonna tell you uh, your diet, man. Obviously, you gotta. Are you? Pretty you know sure? what? I really don't. I really don't like diet per se. I try to like. Not, I try not to eat like an asshole during the week and to kind of try to watch what I eat. And on the yeah. weekends, I get down. Control. I love to eat. Control during the week, yeah. you know, I try to control it. And I kind of do a little bit like Mike, like if I didn't get a chance to train that I won't eat too crazy, you know. Yeah. It's more about, I don't I don't feel like you should ever eliminate any kind of food, especially if you like it. I like to kind of pace myself, but on the weekends, I like to get a little crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll, I'll throw down. Yeah, what, 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 what's your weekends. cheat meal, man? What do you, what is it? I'll that, crush it. What is it on weekends that you'd be like, man, this is, I'm going to. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm about fucking... to eat this thing. I can... Ow! Kylie, oh, well, dude. lemon, lemon, what's that lemon pie, key lime pie? I love, I love, I love, but I mean, I crush me easy—a good twelve to thirteen tacos, easy. Wow! Yeah, and yeah. Then I get some mariscos right there, like a mean pizza, all that stuff. I leave all that shit. I like sweets too. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah. Candies, like yeah, for week. Yeah, I like chocolates and stuff. <laughs> I'm like a little fat kid. I love sweets. Great and hot cookies and hot chocolate yeah, chip yeah, cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love all that shit. Yeah, but that's on the weekends, cause then if not, I'll be all. <laughs> Damn, well, that's what's food. up, man. That's what's, so what's up, up with you, man? Henry? <laughs> you guys are making me hungry out here. I know. Henry, are you going to come back and fight, man, or what? You keep teasing. Yeah, I'm just going to say what? that, man. Get in shape and come back, man. <laughs> Get in yeah, shape. No, I am. No, I, I, I have been. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not out of shape. I'm actually, I'm actually, no. you know, I, I work out. I don't, I don't fight as, as much as I used to. It's actually been one year since my last competition. You need to get back in the gym and start getting back sharp again. Yeah. Yeah. Are you Young thinking about guy. seriously making a comeback or are you thinking about maybe training or getting involved in some capacity? Because I, I know you officially retired. Yeah, yeah. No, right now I'm in business, man. I'm in real estate. Dude, I, I, I've been wrestling since I was 11 and then I've been pretty much since age 11 to age 33. That's all I've been doing is competing. Yeah. MMA, wrestling and MMA. And man, I, I've been enjoying business. Man. I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying coming out here with Mike. It's you know, hot you. boxing with him. And but do you want to be involved in the game still in some capacity? You know whether what? it's training, managing. Not really. Dude. You know what I'm saying? Not really. really. Yeah. Not okay. really. It's like I just want to exit out completely. You know, not completely, but always a fan. Yeah. But I don't know if I want to be. You know what I'm saying? In there because. Hmm. Yeah, because I know Mike, one of the things I always loved about Mike, too, he's a historian, mm -hmm. so he knows all this stuff, all this I stuff. I love this stuff. Love watching the old fights, and you still love watching fights yeah, even now, which I love, too. Yeah. You know, so I, that's what I love, is like when you're st also a fan, because there's a lot of guys that fight that hate it. They hate to watch it. They, they hate to like watch it. their opponent train yeah, and everything. Yeah, they don't even like to watch this stuff. No, he loves it, so that's what's yeah. cool. I, 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 think, I think, but the biggest thing with me is just, it, it's not like boxing, man. Like, you know, the USC is like... It has to be worth the legacy, man. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. Think, I've done everything there is to do, bro. Oh, no, you have nothing else to come. I was just curious if you were going to be um, involved but, in, but the, that's what in I'm the sport I, to some capacity. That's all. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I love to analyze. Like, uh, Actually, ESPN uh, Sports Nations are giving me like a five-minute segment on just kind of like being cringe, like giving fight analysis, but being the character that I am. So, okay. You know, so it, it, it's really cartoon about, cartoon about you, man. Let me cartoon about you. Yeah, see, but Mike's had a cartoon. NBC. That's right. And you see the place to be. <laughs> That's the best. He had a cartoon in the best video game ever. Yeah. Hey, I remember. I don't think I ever told you, Mike, when I finally got to you and had to beat. Fucking took me like months to finally get to, and I finally got to. I was like, Ooh. I was like, and then you knock my ass out like in two seconds. <laughs> I finally, and then there was a code. I remember there was a code. Go right to me, back. right? I remember to get to right to the thing. That was the best. Like up, down, up, down, left, right. Let's get to the code. Get to Mike. Oh, uh, to get to him, uh, just to fight him. Yeah, because oh, okay, I'm okay. older than you, so you went around. No, with the game. no, no. Right I remember there, Mike Tyson pushing, but I never got to Mike. 
Oh no, no I got man. to him, but I was like, <laughs> and I got my ass knocked out real quick. Yeah. It was the Boom, best. uppercut, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, remember, I remember the noise. Doink, 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 doink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Good. laughs> All right, fool, you done with me or what's up? Mario Lopez, man. <laughs> it is uh it is a pleasure. It is an honor, man. We we'll keep Mike, you, you guys... over time, man. We love you, man. We hey, man. You, leave. you know I got nothing but love and respect for you. And you too, Henry. Yeah. Seriously, sitting with real champions, not just in the ring and the octagon, but in life and real cool dudes. So uh, mad respect for both of you. I appreciate you uh, having me. Now I'm going to go try some extracurricular activities. Like <laughs> Absolutely, man. Don't forget June 5th, man. Come to the June opening 5th. of Tyson Lounge. I love it. Tyson's Lounge. This is the lounge. I'm going to come to the lounge in the ranch. Yeah, the ranch is We're good. We're going to lounge your way out of here, you guys. I ain't this invited to the ranch. C, there, just the lounge. The lounge. A.K.A. Henry <laughs> Cejudo. You just watched the episode of Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson? Yes. Yes. And I'm here. There we go. Mario Lopez, thanks again for coming, dude. Thank it was you. a blast. Any last, let's, you want to close it out for us? Yeah, tell us about you, man. Say, say, look, oh, the whole world is looking at you. 2.5 billion people. Say something. Thank you for having me on the show. Mad respect to both of you uh, gentlemen. Appreciate the time. If you find yourself in front of the TV around 7 o'clock, tune in NBC to Access Hollywood or the radio. Tune in to On With Mario or check out the new Saved by the Bell or the Christmas movie coming out. I got to plug all the shit yeah, <laughs> later on. Oh, all it is, I got to plug all the shit. Thing. And hopefully you'll find me somebody to fight, Henry, <laughs> since you're putting in there for the charitable aspect. What the hell am I putting it's all this Usher. damn time in the... Usher, Usher man, poor Usher, Usher, man. Damn, Why y'all want to get Usher it. lumped up? Damn, that's cold oh, as ice. no, he's talking shit. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> no, no, that's my boy. <laughs> we out! Love. <laughs>